Hello, everybody, and welcome to another update from Crypto Gossip. My name is Adam, your host. We've talked about the Cosmos ecosystem and the airdrop opportunities that we're getting now by staking some of the tokens from this Cosmos ecosystem. It's really a hot narrative for this cycle, and Cosmos has really created a lot of buzz and has really grown a lot in this last uh, cycle, just because I think the excitement around airdrops has been a big narrative, and a lot of these projects are building a layer one opportunities on top of the cosmos platform and so you see a lot of this buzz with injective with celestia and all that have come out here recently i did a full guide on staking uh, th these different tokens that you see here on my spreadsheet but i wanted to talk specifically today and do a deeper dive into celestia or tia and it went live celestia went live in late october early november with an airdrop type format to people who had been uh, staking these tokens and some other uh, airdrop opportunities there uh, you know back earlier last year so a lot of people didn't qualify and it was kind of a missed opportunity for a lot of people because celestia came out at two dollars a token and then a lot of people dumped it like they do with airdrops and now you can see it's sitting at $16 today it's done quite well and now people are starting to see a lot of other projects building on top of Celestia and announcing airdrops for Tia stakers so I want to make sure you're aware of this in more depth and also wanted to provide you with an opportunity to talk about Milky Way and their first liquid staking Tia platform and some opportunities to earn even more airdrops through doing some of that work on Milky Way as well. So you can look overall comprehensively at my staking plan that I had and where I'd laid out some numbers that you could look at if you want to have a base level of tokens across these different, um, you know, different Cosmos ecosystem tokens like Cosmos itself, Atom, uh, Osmosis, Celestia, Injective, and Kujira. Um, you can see that this base level is where you need, you know, their main minimum recommendation would be to own tokens. But for Celestia, we'll just go ahead and go specifically to Celestia. You can see that really we're looking at if you're just really trying to get into that very foundational level of participating in these airdrops with Celestia, a recommendation of a minimum of 20 TIA tokens up to 25, 30, and as much as 50 being on the aggressive end from all the different folks that I follow and different people who have suggested different amounts and also looking at some of the amounts that have people have, have said and projects have said you need to be staking to qualify. I've seen as I've seen anywhere from one TIA qualifies you for an airdrop or qualification. I've seen 23, you know, but, but there's some other ones like alt layer that's been announced that they that they're thinking it might be higher so definitely the more you stake the safer you're going to be in ensuring these multiple airdrops others will say a minimum of a hundred dollars worth of a token as of the snapshot date so something to think about in terms of how you want to get involved and already we've seen with these airdrops with celestia we had dimension that i've covered in a post that's already too late to go out and claim your dimension but that's one of the tokens dimension that's coming out soon that if you're a tia staker in Early December, I believe was the cutoff there. Maybe it was December 19th or so. Uh, I was able to qualify for that because I started in early December. Dimension is one that's coming out soon. Saga is a gaming token on the Cosmos ecosystem that named Tia stakers on their list. We have Alt Layer that just announced that Tia stakers are included it there, but we don't know those thresholds yet. Hava Coins, another one that just came out on Twitter and announced if you're a Tia staker, you qualified. Uh, Sorechain is what I've covered comprehensively as well recently. Like Demo, a plug and play device for your car announced that TS stakers would be participating and all those and for that those details aren't available yet on what that looks like but movement labs you know avo is another one that just announced a partnership with celestia manta network is built on celestia no announcement there from manta but potential there fuel network and then milky way we'll talk about it in more depth but every day i could i could do an update every day on all the new announcements of tokens that are announcing some potential teaser for celestia that's why i think it's done so well here recently because it's just a great opportunity to an easy way to buy and hold so in terms of just before we get into the milky way opportunity just that basic level of fundamental how do i get started with celestia uh, staking it's really easy about you just download the kepler wallet onto your browser uh, or uh, there's also a mobile app as well you can do a lot of the functionality and with celestia you can see there's a lot of the uh, ecosystem there that i have saved or favorited in kepler that's all part of cosmos and celestia is as easy for me personally i buy a tia on coinbase 
and then I can just send it to my wallet and then and each um, each one of these chains has its own wallet so make sure you, so, you select your own celestial wallet and when you're doing that transfer from coinbase or another exchange or you can buy Adam and one of the other tokens and then swap it in for celestia but once you have celestia in your wallet you've sent that from coinbase or another exchange you'll see that the balance that you have here I I'm now doing personally 25 uh, Tia kind of in that mid-range trying to add more as we go and then it's just a simple matter of hitting the stake button and it takes you to an option of staking these tokens and then you select a validator to, uh, to and that's kind of your your delegation of them being the validator for your tokens and keeping the uh, the process and the kind of the nodes up and running there so uh, I've went ahead and selected two kind of further down in the list they they encourage you to do something below the top 10 just to keep it spread out and decentralized and so I've split mine out amongst stake Cedo and Pokachu and so my 25 are are handled that way and it's also earning a 15.78 percent APR so even if you're just sitting there and just parking it to earn these airdrops you're also getting the double benefit of that you can go and claim any of these rewards on a regular basis I've already claimed several times and just continue to redeposit you know into these validators to continue growing my pool as I can so pretty easy to go ahead and, and do that so if you're just looking at staking celestia for these rewards and keeping up with that that's really all you need to do one last tip on income when it comes to those fundamentals is that I, I, i've talked about this in my last video with cosmos this works for the entire ecosystem but for celestia specifically you've got leap wallet that's another competitor to you kepler you can either import your kepler wallet into uh, leap wallet which is what i've done or just connect the wallet and it gives you the same information and it gives you a full portfolio view it gives you a view of everything you've got staked etc but for the purposes of airdrops another not useful tool if you do uh, just stake celestia and you're not real active on twitter and keeping up with airdrops you'll want to go into this airdrop tab of leap wallet you can auto fill your cosmos address and it, it will capture the entire ecosystem including celestia you know injective all of those others and give you a you know there's a list of active airdrops that you can see are out there now you see the dimension when i've talked about a lot of these others were older airdrops that I did not qualify for because they were prior to me getting involved but if you click on this autofill and check eligibility it will tell you if you're eligible or not eligible for these drops when you click it for me it shows that I'm eligible for the dimension airdrop and there was also this randomizer uh, you know, noise a ran drop that I qualified for but didn't get any tokens in but it will be a good way for you going forward to continue to check to see if you're uh, eligible for some of these upcoming drops but the other really a uh, big um, you know program and, and project I want to make sure that when you're looking at airdrop opportunities for Celestia that you're aware of is Milky Way Milky Way announced that they're the first liquid staking uh, platform for the TIA token so if it's something that you're interested in where you feel like you've filled up and you've staked enough Celestia in Kepler that you feel comfortable with the airdrop opportunities you're going to get there another airdrop opportunity is with Milky Way which is similar to Swell or or some of these other you know a Lido and other liquid staking platforms on Ethereum and other platforms are out doing a lot of this liquid staking like we talked about Solana having that opportunity as well with Celestia you can use Milky Way and all you've got to do is just again put uh, some Tia into your Kepler wallet don't stake it there on that native platform but have that Tia in your wallet and then you go in here and you can stake uh, Tia for milk Tia which is like their their equivalent to Tia that's staked and so you do that and you're earning an APR they right now they've got around 37 million uh, 38 million dollars locked in that the the APR for just leaving it staked in there is 14 percent so pretty nice little return just by doing that but like other liquid staking options if you pull out if you stake your Tia and get milk Tia you actually then have something that while you're staking it you can use that milk Tia for other DeFi opportunities and continue to grow the ecosystem and they have said now here recently on Twitter probably nothing here recently in the last few days earn milk points and gain rewards there's been a lot of talk about them saying that they're going to come out with their own token and airdrop so there's some farming opportunities there as well in addition to this the staking so when you look at well how can I get involved and earn points it would probably just come from just staking this on this platform it'll be one way to earn points but another way to earn points will be by actually doing something with the milk Tia that you are able to accumulate through the staking process so they point you to 
providing liquidity on Osmosis, which is the biggest DeFi platform on the Cosmos ecosystem. And there's some other opportunities through Levana, Margin Protocol, DMEX, and Quasar. Yeah, and so I personally am involved in DMEX and Quasar a little bit just to continue to do some other things in the ecosystem to continue to keep this up. So, for example, if you go to provide liquidity on Osmosis, you'll be taken to Osmosis and there'll be a pool that they've identified of a milk TIA to TIA liquidity pair, which then earns you an APR and allows you to you know, get involved in the ecosystem. So for me personally, when I went into create a position, you could choose to either do this manually and you've got to kind of manage that on a regular basis uh, to prevent any impermanent loss or any issues there. There's also a managed approach, which is what I selected to go through and identify doing this through Quasar, which was the link that they pointed you to on their page as well. So when you go to Quasar, you can actually go and click on that button. It takes you to a, they actually manage your deposit and your liquidity in this pairing on osmosis in a professional way so that you're not having to mess with it on a day to day basis. I put a little bit of some Tia in there you know, and milk Tia and did some liquidity, you know, farming with you know, about 12 Tia tokens, so a couple hundred dollars worth. And so when I, I, you can see where I just deposited, you know, that into the pool, you can see right now they still have a little bit of room left. They just recently raised their cap to provide for more room on here. And so they're running this vault you know, in a self-managed automated way where you're not having to deal with this yourself. I can claim the, the the earnings that I'm getting from this and a deposit or withdraw at any point that I want to. They do have other vaults in here. Quasar has some other vaults that they manage where you can get involved in other pools as well. It's a DeFi a protocol. They might have their own airdrop at some point that you would qualify for if you do this. So just a little bit of a double benefit here. And the other one is DMEX where it's another similar platform. Reminds me a lot of like Camino or, or Margin5 that we've talked about with Solana where you go in and you deposit uh, your you know, your tokens and then you can go in here and you can lend or borrow a lot of different tokens with different APRs and 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 earn through through this DeFi protocol here but they do have one that's the milk tia one that you can actually lend your milk tia into the platform but the problem that I've seen with this one is is they always max out their cap limit they've tried raising it a few times and when they raise it it it, it sells out and fills up very quickly so I have not been able to actually get too involved in it to this point because of that but they do have a nice little program in here where you can actually earn referral fees and you can have there's there's a rewards place in here where you can earn their own native token this w, uh, SWTH and so that there is an opportunity to kind of get more involved and there may be some additional airdrops and opportunities there as well. So overall, you know, just wanted to make sure that you knew about this deeper dive into Celestia, but also uh, this kind of discovering kind of Milky Way and this opportunity to earn, you know, their points and their rewards for their platform as well as DMEX, Quasar, and some others. So just another way to get involved in the ecosystem. I think my advice would be to try to maximize your TIA staking just through Kepler first to make sure you're qualifying for all those other airdrops we saw on the list. And then if you have any extra you want to play with and have some have some fun with with Milky Way, also staking with them and their other protocols, want to make you're aware of that and, and as i've been updating this myself and checking it you know th these they've added a couple of new ones here recently so this is going to continue to this whole uh, ecosystem underneath celestia through milky way is going to continue to grow on its own as well and provide maybe some other opportunities for you to get involved so i wanted to make sure you saw this for today make sure you like and subscribe to the channel for this type of content i'll keep you updated on the celestia journey the cosmos ecosystem journey airdrop opportunities and the other cryptocurrency projects we cover thanks and have a good rest of the day in the week